Denver Post. Nicola, uh, Malone just said that felt like a playoff game. He said it was chippy, and that's the way that he likes it. Can you describe um, how physical it was out there and kind of, you know, what that what that physicality did to you guys? I mean, uh, it seems like we like it. I mean, uh, we played really good. Uh, I think we are we, uh, when they start kind of picking up the, the aggressiveness, I think, we, we we did it too, and we, we kind of meet the 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 their aggressiveness. Maybe a little bit we were a little bit higher, but in the, we were still controlling it. Uh, that's it. Ralph Haynes, three point conversation. Hey Nicola, um, great game tonight. Nicola, your team seemed like you had that sense of urgency. What, if you don't mind, not necessarily the specifics, but what was kind of the like conversation like, or what was the mentality before the game in the locker room? To be honest, it was the same. You know, I think uh, you, you you're not. If you're going to talk about it, you're not going to do it. You just need to do it. You know, so. Um, we, we have, I mean, probably you have to see the dog who barks doesn't bite. So, I mean, we just need to go out there and fight, you know. So that was uh, that was the feeling on the on the court, you know. We 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 never gave up. I mean, uh, even when uh, even when the uh, Dame had a really uh, get going, we still we still we, we still uh, we stayed together and we were just uh, fighting through, you know. So and we won the game. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Nicola, do you think that type of physicality, that competitiveness, that chippiness, do you think that that benefits your team? Do you think your guys play better and rally around that? Um, maybe it would wake up some guys, you know, maybe just wake up a little bit. But to me, it's, it's the same. Bit. Like, I don't care. Whatever, whatever is out there, I'm going to play. Brandon Cristal, KOA. Well, look, Coach Malone just talked about your maturity as it relates to frustration with the refs from year one to year six. Do, are you less frustrated in year six? Because you seem still pretty frustrated at times. Yeah, I mean, it's an it's emotional game, of course. Uh, uh, it's, uh, we are playing for something, you know, so it's... Uh, of course, I, the, the refs are doing the best job they can, but, you know, we, when you maybe think you get fired, you're always going to... Yeah, or whatever. So I think they're they're, they're they they have the toughest job, you know. They 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 make it a good call or a bad call. Someone is gonna yell at them. So uh, it's something that uh, I don't know how anybody wants to become a ref, to be honest. But uh, I try. I'm trying to do my best and just uh, try to, to try to uh, keep my calmness just to help my team win the game. The game. And I think I, I'm, I'm doing a good job, especially this year. Even last year, I was a good, doing a good job. Mark Medina, USA Today. Hi, Nicole. Good to see you. I, I had a non-game question on mental health and wellness. How, how do you think the mental toll of this season compares to uh, the challenges in the bubble? And what's been your approach in navigating those different things? I mean, it's it's hard, you know. Every, every night is a pressure. Every night is another game. Every night is another opponent uh, it's um it's really it's really it's really uh, the pressure that you the players have of uh, even if you're a star even if you're a role player you know you need to comp you need to give your best of course you're getting paid a lot of money to do that but it's still a uh, still a uh, i don't i don't think so it's it's worth if you lose your head and and uh, trying to trying to be great you know i think if uh, if you lose yourself, it, it's not worth it. So it was really, it's, it's, it is really, uh, really uh, hard, you know. But still, I mean, I think there is a lot of more people in the world that, that uh, don't have money or whatever, you know, and they're they're having pressure of survive, pressure of surviving. But still, it, it's still a job for us, you know. We're trying to do our best, and there is pressure. There is. Uh, Kind of, you need to go out there and give your best because uh, 
I mean, some players, if they don't play good, they're not going to get the next year contract or whatever. So it's kind of similar, but we're still getting paid a lot of money. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Nicole, how encouraging was it for you guys to get those contributions from the bench? It seemed like any time you checked in, you guys had a bigger lead than, than you did when you checked out. I mean, uh, to be honest, Monte was playing really good. Paul was playing really good. I mean, Shaq was a phenomenal. Even uh, he didn't play that much. He he was playing first uh, one minute in the first half, and he did his best. He 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 literally used that one minute to to show that he can play. Um, I think I think just the the the, the kind of it was positive. It was positive what the second unit did. You know, they they moved the ball. They're finding open shots. They were. They were aggressive, so it, it, I think it's a great. It was a it was a great game for them. At Graham Associated Press. Hey Nicole, thanks for taking thanks for taking the time. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, Aaron Gordon's defense on Dame in that second half? How vital was that? Well, he he did a really good job. You know, uh, um, I I think it's really hard to be on the top of him the whole game. Uh, uh, especially if you if you play 40, 40 plus minutes, you know you in just one moment you just lose it. You just get uh, tired, tired, you know. But I think I think uh, I think um, uh, Aaron was Aaron was great the second half. He at least make him make him make a tough shots or just tough uh, just to create a tough shots. I think he did a really good job. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Hey Joker, um, tell, tell me what happened with uh, Mello there in the first quarter. What was he trying to do? He, he, he threw you down there. What, what happened there? I mean, it's just a pushing it back, I think, and uh, I kind of didn't want to get into the screen, so I kind of fall. So it was just a little aggressive play. Esteban Abed. Hi, Nicola. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, what can you tell me about the uh, the big decision from Facu to attack more aggressive the paint tonight? Yeah, he was he was aggressive. I think he needs to be even more aggressive uh, because when you get in the paint, the people are going to collapse. Even if you miss, if they black or if they switch, uh, they're going to the big is going to have opportunity to to get the rebound you know so just by attacking and being in a pain you can you can create uh you kind of suck the defense in you know so you're going to find open open looks and he did, he did a really good job all right that'll do it thank you nicola my pleasure guys nicola